Hey, welcome back to Brews with Beck and Houston Beer Guide. I'm Dan, and how the hell are you? I am great. So ready to drink this beer in front of me. Thank you for asking. Um, yeah, thank you, Sylvia. Just getting that out of the way. Um, yeah, this is a uh, big boy from, you know, good old, good old Spindle Tap. My, uh, you know, probably my favorite Houston brewery. Uh, this one is 10.5. Hit the Richter button on the Richter. Big boy, uh, and it's it is um, probably probably you know multiple dry hop, but uh, it has galaxy and citra in it. So expecting uh, you know good amount of grapefruit, peach, mango stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, big boy. Um, that's all I can say. Problem man uh, John to supervise, bring the affiliates of the masters, and it's uh, about all I got. But stoked to uh, be drinking another spindle tap beer. So let's get on with it. Let's just pour it. All right, do me a favor right before we get started. See that like button that's right below me? Yeah, just do me a favor, tap that. Really appreciate you and may as well tap the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you can see all these good beers all the time. All right, all right, all right. I see you. All right. So yeah, got a more on the pine pineapple juice uh, kind of creamy chalky pineapple juice look um i love triple new england's they're they're literally right up there with bourbon barrel age coffee stout so looking forward to it um i'm gonna get get a quick aroma and then i'm just gonna dig in smelling kind of a you know dry hop mul little multi multi dry hop little little uh you know just just general citrus Maybe a little, uh, maybe a little peach. All right, well, that's good enough for me. Um, I'm sure I'll smell it as I'm going along. So, no words, just emotions. Let's go, Houston. Yep, got that nice uh, earthy pepper that goes all the way through it. Um, not super strong, but yeah, just as soon as it, as soon as it hits. Carries right through to the ending. It's delicious. Uh, a lupulin powder kind of effect. A little, so a little bit dank. A um, little, I don't know if I'd say non-sweet melon. Um, you know, you're supposed to, I, I get a little gra grapefruit peel, as you would say, maybe from the cit citra. Little... Very little, like kind of a peach, like twinge to it. That kind of fades into a peppery uh, grapefruit, um, you know, uh, peel as, as I was saying. So uh, mouthfeel on this is, I don't know, I want to say about forty percent. Yeah, it's got. Yeah, it's about about forty percent. It's e even though, well, I don't know. It, Maybe like fifty percent, but it's 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 pretty pretty damn delicious and pretty uh, easy going. You know, for me, easy going down because it tastes so good. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I got from it. Uh, maybe a little pineapple juiciness going in there to go along with the earthy pepper and uh, non sweet melon and a little grapefruit and maybe a twinge of peach or whatever. I don't know. I'm probably repeating that, but, um, yeah, I'm going to give it a second to drink, see if there's anything else that I notice, but if not, then I'm going to head straight to the rating. So hold on a second. All right, then. Um, yeah, I found a, uh, one guy on untapped that kind of says, says it pretty well, as far as I always kind of say like an earthy pepper, but he just said super highly rated initial citrus was good, but it had a strong earthy green herbal aftertaste that took over. That's basically what I'm saying is like, yeah. Originally get like a quick rush of, you know, kind of a, uh, just, a, and a super quick rush of the, any kind of fruit of the IPA, you know, and then all of a sudden it rushes into the oats and a peppery, earthy, herbal uh, kind of feel. I would just kind of call it pepper, but yeah, I should say that. I mean, it only even has like, like grassiness to it. Um, so a little dankness, a little grassy, little, you know herbal earthiness uh but you know oh that, that's right ha 
it's ten and a half percent on the Richter. All right, so. I'm not sure if I would, if, if I, if this was a blind taste test, uh, if I would know that this was 10 and a half, I would have guessed maybe like high eights. So pretty good at hiding the uh, ABV on this. So definitely, you know, I mean, if you want to be feeling really good, go ahead and chug two of these, but uh, you're already going to be feeling good after one 16 ounce that's 10 and a half. So yeah, this is, uh, it's good. I, I've had Houston, uh, Houston Haze. I have not had Houston Haze here. So I have not had the double versus the triple. Uh, carry, I'm sure it's probably similar, but just ever so slight, slightly lighter. I'm not sure. But yeah, you, you do get a little odiness on this too. And obviously more as I poured the whole can in, got a little more of the thick sediment. So there you go. Um, all right. Rating time. Boom. Keeping it quiet. The daughter's taking a nap. All right, from Stella down to, oh, hell no. We're going to go. We're going to eliminate all those. It's basically between the two at the top. All right. Hmm. 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 Yeah. It's, it is definitely dipping into Houston's Hazier Stellar. So, what that means is out of 100, I would probably give this, ah, probably 97. Um, pretty good. Has the, the earthiness, the uh, herbal pepper, you know, earthy, green, green herbal earthiness, uh, grassiness that I really like the kind of pepper that kind of stays with you the whole way um but you know again some people like more of the you know tropical fruit this might have it for a second for with with a little peach but like really just kind of fades into a creamy oaty you know uh bit of earthiness um you know maybe maybe twinge of grapefruit peel so but yeah that's that's delightful. Can't really drink more, you know, it's hard to drink more than one of these. And then, you know, I'm, what I might drink after this is more like a lager, but uh, delicious. So that's it for Brews with Beck and Houston Beer Guide. I, if they're, I don't know if they're still making this at uh, Spindle Tap because obviously they, or I'm sure they'll, they'll revisit it if they're not. Uh, but yeah, pretty, pretty damn delicious. So get some of it while you still can, but you know, Spindle Tap always puts out good stuff. So, you know, anything you get there is pretty damn good. All right, well, uh, I'm thinking I might do, just as a change up, uh, the Pilsner from uh, Back Pew next. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Good talk, and we'll see you out there. Houston.